Hi guys, so I want to share a method how I have fixed the uh, the battery from my old Canon camera. Actually, the camera is just in here. It's a uh, it's a Canon 1000D. So I bought this camera on the flea market, and it was just the body with the battery which was completely dead I've measured with the battery with a quite precise uh, multimeter which I have here it's a Fluke 289 uh, you can see that so it measures up to the I think the ten thousandths of volt I can show you the um, the precision of it mm -hmm. so yeah it's like one, two, three, four digits of the coma. And of course it picks up everything. So uh, the battery was completely dead, but there was nothing on it. So what I did, I kind of um, used the heat gun, which is right here. It's a DeWalt, yeah, some DeWalt heat gun. And I have uh, heated up the battery, which, yeah, is just like this. I heated it up and then I've split it into two parts. I've basically put the the cover off the battery. Yeah. And how do I make so you see the thing, not my face? Oh well. So you see my face. Um, I've split the battery in two pieces and I found out that the cells itself, I mean the, the cells were that were alive. There was like 2.2 volts on each of the cells. While the battery itself should be 7.4 volts it's like mm, maybe you can see that well anyways it's 7.4 volts battery lithium-ion battery um, so I opened the battery and I could measure the uh, how many volts are on the terminals on the output terminals of the battery and there was zero while on the cells there was like some voltage so what I did I used my um, intelligent charger, which is a very simple one, uh, yeah, IMAX B6. And I've uh, charged these two cells up until they were full. I basically connected the, um, the charging device to the terminals of the cells themselves. And that was like 8.2 volts, I think. Um, and that was fine. But afterwards I've measured the current and the um, the voltage on the terminals of the battery, these three little guys. Um, and there was still zero, nothing. So I thought there was some sort of a chip on this little uh, PCB board that kind of told the, like, told that I won't show anything. I won't power up whatever device you connect to these terminals. So what I did afterwards, while the these cells were charged, I've soldered some. Um, you can see, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I've just soldered uh, two just very simple wires to the positive and negative terminal, and yeah, and the positive and negative are depicted here, so you can see which one is plus and which one is minus. So I've soldered it like that. And I've put half of the shell of the battery off, so the terminals are like in here. Then I put this battery inside the camera, and remember there was nothing on these terminals. And then I've used my uh, power adapter. I have a cheap Chinese one. Uh, really good though. I mean, works for all my needs. Uh, yeah. So I've connected this... Um, uh, power supply to the uh, to these terminals while they were in the camera inside the camera and in a moment I'll show you how that works and then I've set the the voltage up to 8.2 volts and I turned the camera on and off and I was surprised because the camera turned on and it says low power and then I've put the voltage a little bit higher 8.3 or 8.4 volts and then it just turned on and started working and that was quite good but what I did next I have disconnected the power supply from the terminals of the battery 
and the camera still worked. It's a good sign. So what I did next, I've just, you know, measured the voltage on the terminals of the battery and it was showing 8 point... I can actually measure how, does it, how much it shows at the moment because I don't remember exactly. I remember it's still uh, like fully charged, uh, fully charged battery and I cannot hold the camera now. Well, it can be one hand measurement. See the magic here. It's like sushi sticks. Alright. And the voltmeter says 8.165. So I hope you can see that, guys. Otherwise, well, it's 8.1. 6 volts and the battery still works and it actually powers up the the camera and I think that this method kind of triggered the uh, the component which was telling the battery not to power up power on devices to power them on or power them up um, and I think this is a way how to kind of break this protection that Canon uh, did for its batteries, so um, they would be, I don't know, either recycled or like, I don't know, reconditioned or returned back to Canon. But I think it was because when the battery is getting really low voltage and discharged, the schematics tells the battery not to power anything. And um, I think this method kind of made it, uh, made it active again. And now what I will do, I will just try to reassemble the battery and of course I will order the new battery on eBay and uh, it's gonna work it's gonna work and it's gonna live in the battery this is gonna be a just a, a spare battery uh, from a from my old Canon camera and this is the second camera that we have the other one is uh, mark 3 something something it's my wife's camera she's a photographer so here you go guys here's the method hope you will be able to use it and maybe it will work for the other batteries. Um, cheers, bye.